Hello friends around the world, you're watching 180 View and in the next 15 minutes we will be discovering exciting facts about the life of students here in our beautiful state of Arizona and compare them to the traditions and culture of students on the other side of the world, in Moscow, Russia. Getting a college education requires a lot of time, hard work, dedication and discipline. In many countries it is also very expensive. But here in America, students can discover many ways to receive help paying for their school. In our next episode, find out what kind of financial assistance is available to students at Maricopa Community Colleges. Being able to afford college tuition is a concern for many students. I didn't know how I was going to be able to afford college because I come from a low-income family and normally I'd be um, I'm trying to help and support my family. I'm the first one in my family to attend college. Uh, my mom, she didn't have, didn't earn enough to pay for my entire time to go to school, so it was basically me being able to do everything. Students preparing for college have to meet more than just the challenges of academics. I graduated high school when I was 17 years old, and I, and, um, I thought that I couldn't go to school. I thought you had to have a lot of money to go to school. When I was growing up, there was, this, there was this idea that you had to have a lot of money to go to school. So even though I felt I was smart, I didn't go to college. What many students don't realize is that there are many opportunities for financial aid. Students at Gateway Community College can even take a special class where they learn how to manage their college finances. My first class that I had, it was called College for Success. That class was awesome. Uh, my teacher, she actually had financial aid come to the classroom and talk to us. And they just gave us the whole rundown, how to apply for Pell Grants, how to apply for loans, which loan is good, which loan is bad. Financial aid specialists are always ready to recommend different solutions to help students cover their tuition. The first way that we usually recommend at the college is to complete the free application for federal student aid or called the FAFSA. It's available for free online. I feel that that's one of the best sources of financial aid that we can offer a student is the federal aid. The Pell Grant funds um, cap out at about $5,850 for one academic year, which is two semesters. So attending somewhere like a community college where it's $84 per credit hour, you know, you can easily cover most of your cost of attendance. Maricopa Community Colleges suggest to their students these four easy steps for success on how to start their college career. See an academic advisor, register for classes, pay for classes, and apply for scholarships. Maricopa County has a whole foundation. There's scholarships available there. There's a general application. So basically the student can fill out one set of information about themselves and use that to apply for different scholarships throughout Maricopa County. There's GPA scholarships out there. There are you know extracurricular activity scholarships, so maybe a sports scholarship. Those students who finish their first semester in college without academic issues can apply for a student success scholarship. After I was a student here for a whole full semester, the next semester I was able to apply for this scholarship called Student Success. Very competitive. I received that scholarship now for three semesters. The good news is you don't have to be straight A student to qualify for a scholarship. Last semester I did see one where do you like big hair and Diana Ross, this is the scholarship for you. Um, in my past as a financial aid administrator I've seen scholarships for people that are left-handed, um, people with red hair. So there is a lot of interesting things out there. It doesn't have to be that you're the best student in the world. You might just have that little edge that <laughs> gets you into one of the more unusual scholarship opportunities. Money from scholarships and grants can be used for more than just college tuition. When you receive a scholarship, it covers, goes to tuition first. And so if anything's left over, you're welcome to use it to help get to school, to better your education. So you can use it for books. If you don't have money to pay for books, you can use your scholarship money for books. On top of that, you have to get here. So transportation, gas is one of the biggest things I use my scholarship for as well. Another way for students to receive help is a government-funded work-study program. This program provides part-time jobs on or off campus for students with financial need, allowing them to earn money for educational expenses. By filling out some paperwork, I was able to assess that I needed help going to school, that financial help. And through a government program called Work Study, they gave me some assistance through the federal government to continue to go to school while working. And there are even more creative ways to find financial help for those who are really looking. It's kind of crazy, but I was a mascot 
I was the gecko for two semesters, actually. It gave me 375 per semester. If you're resourceful, you can find scholarships. There are scholarships out there. And that's a perfect example of, you know, looking under every rock, trying to find some money. And, you know, asking people. Asking, 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 you know. Being open to opportunities, communicating your needs, and asking for help is the best way to get it. The best thing to do is just ask. Ask for help. There's help everywhere. If it wasn't for me coming in and just asking, like, what do I do, um, I probably wouldn't be here. First thing you want to do is talk to your financial aid department. Ask questions. It doesn't hurt to ask. If you ask, you get help. As my mom used to tell me, closed mouths don't get fed. For many students, financial assistance is the only way to make a college education possible. I'm applying for the scholarships and getting the scholarships helped me tremendously. I, I didn't have to worry about paying for school, paying for the books. Being single mom, two children, trying to just aim for my goals, it's kind of hard. And then me receiving the scholarship helped a lot. You know, without those scholarships and without those grants, um, my 18-year-old self was right, or 17-year-old self was right, that you couldn't go to school. But you can't. And um, the only thing that I wish I would have done different in my life is I wish that I wouldn't have waited so long. Hey, Hard, what's this? That's my resignation letter. You're resigning? Why? Because you're constantly ignoring me. You're half as active as you used to be, and you eat stuff like this. You've been putting me under a lot of pressure lately. That's why I'm ready to quit. I, I forgot. I'll, I'll do better. Please, don't quit on me. OK, but remember, it's not what you say. It's what you do. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. Let's go for a walk. Uncontrolled high blood pressure could lead to a stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range before it's too late. <laughs> Being rewarded for your hard work is a proud moment worth sharing with the whole world. This month, 180 View announced a photo contest searching for the best pictures of your achievements. And here are our winners from Arizona and Russia. And the winners are Olga from Phoenix, Arizona and Team CCP from Moscow, Russia. If you want your picture to be featured in our next edition, visit our Facebook page to find the contest details at facebook.com slash 180view. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. College tuition in Russia works very differently than here in the U.S. Do Russian students have to pay for their education? What kind of financial assistance is available in Russian colleges and universities? And is this true that some Russian students can get paid simply for going to school and getting good grades? All the answers are in our next episode, produced by our partner station Mia TV, straight from Moscow, Russia. The foundation of Russian higher education is based on the world-renowned school, unique knowledge and discoveries of Russian scientists. This system was produced for centuries. Traditions of modern higher education in Russia originate in the times relating to the period of the social system in our country. In the Soviet Union, higher education was available and absolutely free for all citizens who had a school diploma. The main condition, after graduation, a person must go to work at a company through distribution. Sometimes graduates were sent to the other end of the West country. Today, higher education in Russia is a unified system of 650 universities of state sample. Our constitution guarantees citizens the right for free education on a competitive basis. Free means paid from the state budget. In many universities, budget places make up more than a half of the total enrollments. I had a contest in three, four people on a place. I passed the state exam very well and I came the fifth in the list of 25 positions. I went to the direction of design and technology of electronic means. At my direction, the contest was 10 people in place and there was only 50 budget places. Those who are not enrolled in the places paid from the state budget can study on a fee basis and also they have the opportunity to enroll at the expense of an organization. 
In this case, the student at the end of his studies must work for this organization a certain time. However, the purpose of each school graduate in Russia is to go on the budget. And there are a lot of nice bonuses. One of them is a scholarship. A scholarship is a kind of salary for the students. At first courses, they have little opportunity to get a job with a decent wage. And this is a subsidy from the state. In the first semester, everyone gets it, and then it all depends on the student. If he studies on A's and B's, he gets a scholarship. If the A's, it's bigger, if B's, smaller. If there are C's, he doesn't get it. In addition to the base, which is paid during a semester according to the results of previous session, there are supplements for achievements in science, sports or extracurricular activities. Social scholarship is given to the needy. The corresponding list is determined by the law. I get an activist scholarship, study on A's and B's and participate in extracurricular life of the university, a reporter of student media. In addition, I run PR department of the Student Council of Miet. There are also private grant programs. One of them is held by a charitable foundation of Vladimir Patanin. To become a member, students not only have to study very well, but also pass a competitive selection. Another plus benefit available to full-time students is a student travel card. The student receives available discounts on public transport, buses, subways and trains. Each semester the student receives in the library a stack of books for free use. On any day you can come and take any necessary book on the library ticket. The main thing – do not lose and return in time. There are a lot of temptations around young people – computer games, night entertainments and such bonuses as scholarships help to draw their attention to the main things for students, to gain knowledge and experience. A single ember from a wildfire can travel over a mile. That ember can ignite and destroy your home or community. You can't control where that ember will land. Only what happens before it does. Visit fireadapted.org to learn how you can help protect your community from wildfires. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. Today, many students apply for grants and scholarships so they can receive part of their education abroad. If your dream is to spend a semester in a Russian university, please listen closely as we will repeat and translate into Russian 10 of the most commonly used words from this show. College. College. To study. Uchitsa. Scholarship. Stipendium. Students. Studente. Website. Website. Library. Biblioteca. Bus pass. Автобусный проездной. Advisor. Советник. Graduation. Окончание учебного заведения. We hope you enjoyed our show. Stay tuned to MCTV for more exciting programming. And don't forget to visit our Facebook page to participate in our contests, watch our shows online, and communicate with your fellow students from the other side of the world. Take care. Пока!